Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, joined by the Yarl of Yeast, aka even my dad. We're in dad's workshop. Yeah. You guys kind of know he was a boat guy. You know a little bit about he doing him doing like a lot of things on his own. Well, he's also a car guy. Why don't you tell us what this beauty is behind us? Uh, that's my '62 T-Bird, uh, equipped with a four. 28 uh, engine and um, wire wheels uh, and it's painted in a special uh, paint uh, called uh, uh, aqua blue it's white but it has a shine in blue when the right uh, light comes on it yeah I've um, restored it completely with um, all the bodyworks outside uh, I've made myself with a hammer and uh, a sandbag, uh, pounded up and s welded it together. So it's uh, many, many, many years work behind us here. Yeah. When I was a kid, this was standing in the garage underneath a cover, not running. But now it's finally getting there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not a cheap project either. <laughs> Uh, but in here, in Dad's workshop, there's a lot of projects. There's actually another Fort Thunderbird a friend of his has right next to us. And there is, what, four motorcycles? Yeah. Or is it? Yeah, it's four, right? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Dad is kind of a nut when it comes to engines and cars. So, uh, he likes his cars, he likes his motorcycles, and also his And books. I like beer. And he likes beer. <laughs> this is actually a beer review. This is a, not a car review, but we just thought it'd be nice to... The lighting out here is great. And it's a cool setting for a review, and we can get to show the T-Bird off, which will be fun to get to ride in for the very first time, for me. Uh, it's soon, hopefully. I mean, maybe spring, right? Yeah, spring. Uh, so that, that, and maybe I'm, I'm going to be lucky enough to drive it. <laughs> you never know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but uh, we're also cracking a special beer. So it's not just special that we're with the car that Dad spent so long fixing. And that's been part of my childhood, actually. It's like when we had friends over, come and see Dad's cool car. That just didn't work. <laughs> but uh, we're also cracking a special beer that I brought back from the States. Um, this is a beer that I actually picked up directly at the brewery. So um, it's from Kane. So I went to Kane. I met up with Ivan, who uh, has the blog, or had the blog, All That Ails You. And uh, we toured around the New Jersey scene. And I was it was fun. I met... Uh, Glenn from from Kane and the guys at Kane treated us very nicely showing us around they even gave us uh, some pours in a special limited bottle to check out there and it, it was it was great fun uh, so funny enough this beer they premiered pre-premiered at McKellar's Beer Festival and I loved it and I, yeah I said this is great so this is picture in reverse a burn barrel is old ale on 13.3% so they released it there pre-released it I really enjoyed it then I went to the States, and I wanted to try and visit Kane if I could. Then it turned out working out with, uh, with Ivan, who lived in New Jersey, so I could go there and visit him as well and see some more breweries and whatnot. And what happens? I go to Kane, and they're releasing pictures in reverse in bottles. <laughs> Just stroke of luck. So uh, they did two uh, variants on this one. They did the bourbon version, and they've done a mead barrel version. The mead barrel was out when I was there, but they still had bottles of the bourbon version. So, Dad likes barrel-aged beer. Mm. I like barrel-aged beer. This is old-school kind of malty beer. Dad likes that. He talked, this is, he, one of the things he said off-camera was like, is it going to be like the barrel-aged old numbskull we had? So I said, probably in the same vein, but maybe this is better. Uh, but So it's that's the barley wine. This is old ale. So I don't know old ale style-wise. They usually, it's a long story, but long story short, old ones sometimes have Britannomyces. They were aged in barrels, blend of young and old beer. I don't know if they've done that with this. I, Glenn told me some part of the beer, but I, I kind of forgot it. I think it was something like they tried to do uh, something more like barley wine-esque, but they felt like it was a bit more like an old ale in terms of flavor profile. So something like that. But um, yeah, doesn't matter. I think it's going to be a good beer. So 13.2% strong stuff. And we have it poured. And it's it's definitely darker than yeah. barley wine. I mean, that's very, very almost dark. black. Just lightly chilled in the fridge. Let's try the aroma. You want to check it out? Yep. Just one second. The head I can generate here looks nice. Beige. But yeah, let's check it out. 
I smell some really good, really rich bourbon whiskey character. Mm. That's one of the things Keynes is known for. It's like they have this super rich barrel character on their beers. They have just such a great barrel program. Uh, but yeah, lots of vanilla for me. And almost like coconut or something. It's really fudgy barrel character, like really sticky, fudgy, malty aroma as well. Mm. And the malty flavor come, comes really mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really big, sweet, caramel, kind of toffee malt. Some dark fruits. Yeah, coffee I almost like. Yeah, almost like a little bit of coffee. Yeah, I see that. There's almost like almost like even a hint of licorice, but there's so much bourbon. Like a ton of bourbon. Hmm. Uh, like this, it's like this kind of bourbon soaked kind of dark fruit aroma to me. Uh, like you took raisins or figs or something, mm. put them in the dark in the bur in bourbon, and then it has like this fudgy, caramelly, sweeter bourbon character. Like bourbon is usually sweeter than whiskey, and it really shines in this. Like some drying oak in there as well. Mm. It smells really nice. You want to try it? Let's try it. You should uh, be like drinking this, driving that on the Jersey Shore. <laughs> Get some looks. No, you shouldn't be drinking this when you're driving. I should be drinking this, and you should be driving. That would have been a fun review. Well, <laughs> or reverse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or in reverse. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> well, let's check it out then. Cheers. Cheers. And thanks to Kane for the hospitality and listening. Oh, oh that is so good. That is old school malt cannon, but man, that's a mouthful. Such a big mouthfeel too. Ah, and so much bourbon. Like the bourbon is huge. Yes. I wonder how strong the base beer is. And and, and 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 it has a bit heat too. Yeah, like yeah. the spirit heat. Now I got two bottles. I think one is unfortunately already kind of called for in a trade, but I think this would age really well in the bottle yeah yeah for sure. like quite a few years five years whatever uh but kind of fresh yeah it has some mm -hmm. heat going down that spirit heat mm -hmm. yeah and, but i guess the dark fruits come through mm -hmm. and um the maltiness mm -hmm. really malty maltiness do you know what it really reminds me of drinking the brewery's old ales like these huge old ales they do but maybe a little bit better and more drinkable, to be honest. And that, because those, their old ales are insane. Um, I think I've dropped the grades a little bit year by year uh, with those beers. But it's in the same vein, but this is just so much more drinkable. Those are also like 16 to 19%. It's crazy. This is 13, so it's not as strong. But it has like the same big fudgy malt character, like this juicy caramel malt yeah, character. Yeah, yeah. And then just huge bourbon. Like it's like... Brewery style barrel character, kind of, but just a, a bit more balanced almost. Like, because sometimes they go a bit too boozy. I think this is like a spirit warmth, but it's not too much. Mm. And the softness mm. when you get it in the mouth. Yeah, it's super mm. soft. Perfect carbonation as well. Mm. Like, super soft, gentle carbonation. And it's so slick and silky and coating. And it was interesting because it was just standing there. Like, whenever they do the stouts, they're out like that. But this was just filling up the fridge. But it's because it's one of these old school beer styles, I think, with all this malt. People nowadays, they want pastry and they want haze. Mm. But this is this is a thing of beauty. And the taste hangs in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. I'm still tasting it, bourbon. It, it doesn't fade out. It just hangs in your mouth. Mm. Yeah, I yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. It's, mm. it's got just like this, this rich bourbon barrel character that's sitting there with like this charred oak. Uh, lots of vanilla. I said coconut, maybe not so much on the flavors. Big vanilla, and then this caramel type fudge thing. Yeah, and, and maybe as a little slight of um, uh, the oak. Mm -hmm. um, I make some uh, some booze in. Put it in 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 oak. Uh, a wood. Oh, wood. Oh, yeah, wood. Uh, I chop wood in in small pieces. And it's a bit of that taste I get. Yeah, like the wood flavor. Yeah, yeah for sure. And then um, lots of caramel, lots of these kind of like bourbon soaked dark fruits, raisins and figs. And like it's got like a bit of like fruit cake or sticky toffee pudding type, like these old school dessert type flavors mm. as well. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff going on. It even has, hit, you talked about coffee, a little bit maybe even, yeah. just like a slight hint, but also a hint of licorice. Yeah, um, but not too sweet. No, yeah. 
it's really well balanced. Yeah. Like the bourbon cuts, like it's sweet, but the bourbon kind of cuts a bit of that. And the same with the dry dryness mm. from the oak. Mm. You get that drying sensation on the palate. I think it's really good. Mm. Uh, it's one of the best old ales I've had in a long time. And I'm not just saying that because the guys that came were very nice when we visited. Because this is really, really awesome barrel-aged beer. Especially if you're into malty beer. Um, I think I prefer this over some of the recent vintages of, if we speak of these kind of like big barrel ace old ales, the breweries old ales. And those for me used to be back in the day, like the stand, the benchmark, like they're, I've, I've given one of them a hundred, which was the fruit. I'm not going to give this a hundred because I think it can benefit from a little bit of aging, but I'm still going to go 98. I think this is phenomenal barrel ace beer. This is just a perfect example of what beer and barrel can do when you have a great base and you have a great barrel and a great barrel program. Yeah. And it just harmonious and people that know what they're doing it's fucking awesome i'm up there maybe 99 yeah and i you usually like these a lot, yes. these kind of beers yeah yeah and it tastes uh, a bit more like a beer. it's it's difficult given a hundred mm -hmm. but definitely 99 it's pretty phenomenal i think like probably in a couple of years time it could go up uh, around the hundreds for me but man and also just as it sits and breathes in the glass it gets better mm. like the first sips it that was a bit of a, if if a, like fizzy effervescence from the carbonation but that's kind of like it's settled a bit. It's just more smooth and mm. like just a more easy drinking experience. And that that's like completely coating the mouth. I can drink that. Well, it's very good. <laughs> it's very good. We can't feed you anything. I'm sorry, got car. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure it would run very good in this. <laughs> no, I mean, we would like some petrol. Then you can drink the petrol or the car can, and we can drink the beer. Yeah. <laughs> mm. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the review of the Kane Picture in Reverse trade for some of this for sure. Uh, uh, that's the only way I know of getting any of this, yeah. unless you live it, lived in Jersey when this was released, or were there. Uh, but very good stuff. Definitely check out Kane. They're just producing some great barrel-aged beer. Uh, maybe we'll shoot some more reviews next time out here by the car. Maybe one at one point we'll have a, a video of it up and running, and then a review afterwards. I don't know. While we're running. <laughs> with, <laughs> me running after the car or <laughs> with a beer. I don't know. Uh, yeah. but yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a nice setting for a review. we got some great settings up here. So if you guys had a chance to try the picture in reverse, let us know what you thought of the beer. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We're going to say and cheers. Cheers. And see, see you in, in another, another beer review. review. <laughs>